Kwan originally came from the Shaolin Temple. It was made to develop the hand strong enough to break through hard objects as if the hand were forged iron. It is unknown who developed Iron Palm. The art was closed in secrecy for thousands of years, passed only from master to disciple on an individual basis. Nowadays, Iron Palm books are available from all different masters of different systems. Even though these books are usually printed only in Chinese, they are in great demand and therefore very hard to find. In the old days, when practicing a martial art, one's training was not complete without the development of power. Without power, it would just be a dance or exercise. There is internal power and external power, hard training and soft training. Internal power one cannot see. It is the development of concentration, breathing, focus, imagination, and spirit. One must focus the power into your strike. When you are forming emotion, it mostly consists of external power. This will strengthen the bones, muscles, joints, and tendons. Iron palm training is the mainly the buildup of external power, later combining the external with the internal to give the individual the total power one can contain and execute with a minimal loss of body energy. We consider hard training to mean strength and power, like the attacking tiger, and so often means speed and flexibility, like how a snake strikes. The key is to have harmony of mind, body, and spirit for total effectiveness of the iron palm. Iron palm training takes a lot of courage and discipline. The best age span to begin training is 17 through 22. This is the time that the body is at its highest physical peak and takes the least amount of time to recuperate from the strenuous training. This doesn't mean that anyone not in that age category cannot train, just that that's the best age to start. Once you begin the training program, you must have your mind clear, free of all distractions, able to concentrate and focus. Most people who train in Iron Palm isolate themselves with their teacher, devoid of all distractions. One must be in top physical condition to begin training in Iron Palm. The most important piece of equipment in Iron Palm training is the sandbag. First, you begin with soft material like sand, rice, or beans, and then move up to iron ball bearings. The outer lining of the bag should be good, tough material like canvas or denim so that it can take the stress of the continual striking needed in the training. It is good to double layer the material as well. Make one bag a size that you can hold with one hand, such as the one you see on the screen. Make the next bag much larger and heavier, such as triple the size of the first bag. Iron palm training is very intense, especially on the hand. Therefore, it is very important to use good medicine. The hand will become very sore and bruised, so you must use the medicine before and after practice. The medicine will relieve the bruise in the muscle and bone and prevent the injury from traveling out of the hand and into the body. Soaking the hand in the medicine after each segment of practice will soothe the hand and allow you to continue throughout the practice. Also, a good Ditta Jia medicine will strengthen the muscle and the bone. Different systems have their own or buy various medicines on the market. Many of these formulas are very weak because they are watered down. We suggest that you use our medicine because it is of the highest quality, reducing injury and possible side effects to the body. There are many different schools and systems, all having their own way to train in Iron Palm. All use the same basic theory with different training methods. There is one method from an old book that is popular. It describes scooping water with both hands, starting with warm water and progressing to boiling water. You are to continue scooping the boiling water until your hands burn and then shake them dry. Then you would progress to hot sand, scooping it up in the same way. This type of training is very harmful to the hands and body. We believe it will weaken the hands eventually and cause great internal damage. It will destroy the tissue and muscle, causing more harm than good. We recommend that you don't train with these procedures. It is good to remember that many iron palm techniques date back to times of war when the welfare of the individual was overlooked for the ultimate goal of success on the battlefield. The practitioner must exercise breathing. This will develop the flow of energy to the palm and teach you to concentrate and focus your chi. Your energy is stored in your dan dian. This is located three fingers below your navel. Therefore, breathe into your dan dian and out through your palm. This is your internal training, allowing your chi to flow through your body and exit through the palm. You must use your imagination to feel the chi and how it passes through the body. 
This will take time to develop, but this is a very important part of iron palm training. Here is Master Takwa Eng's 100-day training program. The training will cause the least amount of injury and will allow you to gain progress much easier. It is suggested that you concentrate on one hand. If you are right-handed, that's the hand you should use. Before training on the bag, you should be fully warmed up and stretched. Stretch your hips, shoulders, back, and all your joints. Your stances must be strong and solid because your power is developed from there. Before you actually start striking the sandbag, you should concentrate and focus. Coordinate your breathing and movements before every strike. You should practice three times a day, morning, noon, and night, each time hitting the bag 50 times. Remember to rub the medicine into your hands before and after each position. Also concentrate on your breathing, focusing your power to the palm. This will develop your chi, energy, and external power to your strike. Divide your training into three parts. Every 33 days, advance to the next level. Therefore, as you advance, your striking repetitions will increase and the weight of the bags should increase. Different size of bag. Big size with different material. Bean or rice or sand. A different level of training. A variation shape. This will hang okay, on the suspend in the air. Good for striking and the cut. Same size as the human neck or body. Big iron bag with like a more advanced level. This is a size like a 25 pound of iron EE bag. Huh? <sighs> 
ายโอริกรีกำลังตามจริงอย่าเล่าเขาดูอย่างเล่า concentrate to the p a l m a r i create warm heat ทำยาว concentrate Use a soft bag with rice or bean. Won't hurt your hand first. Before the training, we always do a quick warm up, like the breathing exercise we do before. Okay. All this exercise for the palm. Also good a push up exercise for the wrist and the palm. Go up the shoulder and the forearm. You do it at 20 or 50 as a limit. Focus. Just don't do it. Put down mind and physical concentration together. Won't, won't give you any result. Even any basic strike. Have to unite your mind and your body. First practice with a finger strike. Fingers 
strike, and add it to palm strike. your body, come down, lift with weight, full palm strike, the whole inside of the palm. Rub it all over. Release the bruise and uh, fill up the power of the palm. From the soft bed to the next level, the hard bed. Create more power 
drop, cut two. Also, every time when you strike, that's why you use the breathing same time when you are choking the breathing exercise. Next exercise, back of the palm. Also, after training, you see a different of the palm turn up the red and blue because of the training. You will have a lot of injury inside. So you need medicine to release all this bruise and redness and build up the muscle of the palm. The medicine will erupt into all over the palm. Then we release all the entry from the head. So good medicine is very important for the training. Without medicine, we will have a lot more injury. You can use this method at the beginning to warm up by the period of the number of days, two to three weeks, and you go to the next level. It's much difficult. When you suspend the power in the air and use the motion to strike. It. Different way to train, hang up in the mid air, do all the basic routine. First one, spare hand strike and fingertip.
Next. Chopping the edge of the palm, turning slightly. Concentrate. Shifting your way. Focus. Slightly with the heel of your palm. And the shoulder and the palm, same time, have to be one unit. Striking it. Focus on it. Next technique, back of the palm. Without a breathing exercise, you hear the difference in the striking. That's the sound of the striking. So, bad training. One more technique in here. From the bottom straight up to the back. This is material. This is the rice or bean. Next one will be yang bear. From small size, build up to the large size. Different weight, different shape. Hanging about to the level of the chest. Come into it. First writing. Bare hand, fingertip strike. Same from the warm up to last every exercise. Concentrate.
เล็กจากนี้เหยียดพอมคัดซูคัดเล็กลูสเนอร์ชอลเดอร์ฮิปไปอินซูไปโฟกัสเป็นพาร์ทสไลด์ในหัวของคุณ Back up your palms right. Ah. <sighs> 
without breathing when you hear the strike of the pound. Loosen up, shoulder, wrist, and just stand solid. Every practice, the hand will turn a bit bruised or red up. All the energy should be applied to medicine. Both sides of the palm. Rub it thoroughly. And if your injury is too hard to stop, let him heal back before you go to next training. So you go to the base and you have striking, chop, palm strike, back in the palm, bottom of the back, right okay. Striking upwards. Breathing and warm up. Stretch out after you finish. And you never try to do this without consulting a real sifu or master. You may hurt yourself to do all this striking. It's a very dangerous training. But whatever you strike there, it will go right back to you. Almost like someone striking you to your chest. This kind of training is very dangerous. We never try to do that by yourself at home. It's all we have. A teacher show you proper training, breathing. You have to warm up and breathing exercise, really. Good. Check out your arm. Fill up the wrist and the floor and edge of the palm. Good. Just pain for the palm and the floor. Slightly, sideways. Fill up the palm. Yes. Focus on your thumb. By <sighs> pushing it, tightening it. Breathe in. And another way, sideways. Touch.
Breathe in. Relax the shoulder. Shake it off. Now you warm up. Now try the first basic strike. Bring your hip strike first. Okay. Breathe in and concentrate. Just, just don't go in. Concentrate like Nice and slow. Good. Focus. Good. Good. Next, we'll be striking with the head. Bring a wrap, shift your weight, cut into it. Focus. Right to it. Nice and clean. Slow. Now I'm 
see your sight and a little slower to get it in the corner. And that's the idea, to add up. Next, right, palm strike in. There's a heel with the palm, strike in. Same thing. After you have the stand, open. Take your time before you go to your first strike. Breathing. Once you have reached the end of the 100 day training program, your power should be at its peak and you will be ready to test it. First use thin wooden boards and strike them from all different directions. Move up to thicker boards. Next will be breaking bricks. Start off with one and then move up to two. Be careful when choosing bricks as some are very easy to break and some are almost impossible because of their chemical composition. A top student of Master Takwa Eng will now break two thick pine boards at an angle. Notice that the boards are being taped together to prevent slippage. Right in the middle, you crack right through two. Before you do that, I want you to do a quick reading and warm up before you test the other two. The next break by one of Takwa's top students will be a double brick break. They will be placing a cloth on the top of the brick to protect the skin in case of slippage. Same way. Same way. Focus. Concentrate into it. Okay. Cut right into it. For the amount of training you have, this is a nice pull up to it. Get breathing, all that. Right there, focus to it, take the time.
this has a drain and power and let the port in the mid air wrap right into it. If you slow, the wood would just fall down and not break. The following is a demonstration by Master Takwa Eng of a complete breaking workout, starting with stretches, breathing, sandbag workout, up to a break of two solid bricks. Whenever you break, you should follow this workout as best you can.
show a break, different kind of break, a hardness of break. You need the power to concentrate from the inner power and the external power. At the same time, when you cut right through, you lack of one little movement, it won't break. So concentrate at the same time, all the way through, and to strike one unit, breaking right through and the optic. That's how you create an iron palm strike. Put all the energy, concentration, into the palm and strike through the object. Right now, breaking right in the air without any support. If you don't hit them fast enough, it won't break because you need the, the speed and the power to break any object in the air. That's what we're trying to show the speed and the power at the same time. This is a solid piece of wood. right up in the air. palm techniques have the same concept as striking the bag. The difference is that on your opponent you will be striking the vital areas of the body. This causes serious damage and may even kill your opponent. Applying the palm strikes to an opponent would be much more difficult and require more training because an opponent will be a moving target not allowing you to just come in and hit. They will also probably be striking and hitting back at you at the same time. This is why you usually apply the strike to the arm or leg first causing injury and making him handicapped, and then going in to finish him off. <laughs> 